So today we're going to talk about the M50. And the reason we're making this video is because I think there are people that are like I was looking for their first DSLR or mirrorless camera. And they might be wondering if it makes sense to buy this camera or if they should buy it or if it's any good. So I've been using this for a couple years now. Uh, it is now my B camera, but it was my A camera. And this is still, I, I really still like this camera. It, it works great. i um, not looking at getting rid of it. So some of the things that I like about it. One, uh, it's compact. So it's, it's really small. I mean, it, it, it is really small. So some people talk about the ergonomics. I use it on a tripod pod. Uh, so that's the other thing for, for what I'm shooting, uh, is, is what I can speak to. So we primarily shoot corporate content, uh, for YouTube, for our blogs and that sort of thing. Most of it's indoors, sometimes outdoors, but it's mostly talking head. So nothing super duper advanced. So I'm not worried about running around with this or throwing it on a gimbal. I have a gimbal, never use it. Uh, I'm not worried about, uh, image stabilization cause it's on a tripod. Um, so I do like that it's small because sometimes we do shoot outside in the plaza here in the office complex. And I, um, I just want to take a little tripod with me and it's an easy setup. I throw a variable ND on there and it looks really good. So I'll usually uh, put some form of uh, um, diffuser for the sunlight and we'll shoot out there. I'll let you see some of the footage uh, that we do that way. Um, and I'll also shoot uh, in the office here and I'll let you take a look at some of that footage on some of our uh, talking head, you'll you'll see that right here. Uh, the other thing I like about this camera, there's a lot of options for for lenses. So this is on like with the with the the M mount. So here's the kit lens. It's a what is it a 15 to 45? It's okay. It's a little soft. Colors come out nice. It's Canon colors. Um, yeah, I, I like that. Um, you know, it's got the flippy screen. So if you're going to do the vlogging thing, uh, I think it's great. We shoot primarily in 1080. Uh, it does have 4K. We don't use that at all. I don't, I just don't use 4K. I like the smaller files. We're always shooting. We have a bunch of stuff to store. I just don't see it making a big difference on a phone or a computer screen, you know, and we're not making documentaries that are meant to be shown on some giant, giant screen or, or anything like that. Um, so as far as options, uh, you're going to want to look at some adapters. So uh, I, I have a, if, if you want to use some of the EF glass that's out there, there's a Canon uh, EF uh, M to EF adapter. And that's, uh, what I have right here. And you just, you just pop that on like that. And then if you have, um, an EF lens, so this is, uh, my favorite lens that for, for the, the kind of shooting that I do. So this would just be more for corporate content. I like this 35 millimeter EF lens and you can just pop it onto this camera like so it's stabilized, which is nice. Um, and the, the reason I like this lens is, is that, uh, right now it is basically a 55 millimeter lens, which, is, which is great for, for talking head. You get the bokeh. This lens is pretty sharp, not crazy sharp, but it's, it's pretty sharp. Uh, and I like that. So the other thing that you can, uh, do with this, uh, another adapter that I like to use for this is a Viltrox speed booster. I don't know if I should have done that. It's making me nervous. Put that on there. So the speed booster, if uh, you're kind of new to all this, basically is this little, uh, it's kind of like the adapter, but it's got a little lens piece in there. And that gives you one more stop of light. So on your F stops, say if you're like a F 2.8, it'll be an F 1.8, which is great. Gives you a little more background blur and a little more light um, in low light situations. And also it reduces the crop. So this camera is an APS-C uh, crop sensor. So it's like a 1.5 uh, crop. And the speed booster reduces that by 71% or 0.71. So that makes this almost kind of like a full frame. So now once I put the speed booster on, this 35 millimeter is now, I think somewhere around a 40 millimeter. So you kind of get two lenses in one, it's super sharp. This is my, this is my favorite setup. Uh, I also do have a uh, 50 uh, millimeter as well. Sometimes in these offices, because they are so tight, uh, the 50 millimeter, if I, if I have this on like 54 millimeters, I have to, I have to have the camera too far back. So I will put the speed booster on. It's at like 40 millimeters and I can get a little bit, I can punch it a little bit closer and it's really sharp. It looks really nice. Um, the other thing that I like about this camera is the price. Look, it's, it's under 600 bucks. 
you have all of the different options as far as you know the the EF lenses, uh, the M lenses, which some of those are you know I haven't really been a big user of the the M lenses, but depending on what you're shooting, they might they might be good, right? I mean, for if you're traveling, that's the other thing. So I think if you want an interchangeable lens camera and you want to travel and you don't want something huge, this might be good. Now I recently took it on vacation with me and I did like that. I like that it was small and because I was traveling, I did use the kit lens because it's so small, right? And it was easy to get around. It's a little soft. I'm, I'm gonna, I might look at some other lenses for this or, or I may just switch to a different smaller camera for traveling. Uh, but for this, it was it was good. Now, I, I don't really want to travel with this giant lens on there like that. So, um, it's simple, right? This is a really easy camera to use. There's not C-Log. There's not a whole bunch of picture profiles. If you're just getting started and you're barely learning how to use your F-stops, um, I think this is going to be a good camera to get started with. Are there other cameras? Probably. I, I'm not familiar with them. All I can speak to is if you're thinking about getting the M50, my experience with it has been really good. Uh, we shoot, uh, we've shoot. we shot a lot of content with it. Like I said, I'll, I'll show you some of that so you can see what it looks like. And uh, I've been real happy with the way it looks. Uh, ease of use, form factor, small. Uh, the only downside on this would be that it has a 30 minute uh, record time limit. And that's the only, that's the only reason I, I bought another camera because the other option was to, the other option was to get a, a recorder. Uh, an external recorder, and I still I still might do that to have a second camera that can that, that doesn't have a limit. But I ended up just getting a Canon C100 Mark II, which doesn't have any type of limit, and that's the reason I I bought that so we could shoot our podcast that we're going over over 30 minutes. And then I may consider an external recorder for this, uh, so that we can just have a second camera that 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 goes long. Um, so that that's the only bummer you can't get an external recorder. As I mentioned, this is my favorite lens. I think you should get the adapters. If you're thinking about getting this camera, yeah, shop around. I mean, see, there's, I'm sure there's Sony makes great cameras. Lumix makes some great cameras. Everybody's got their pluses and minuses. But if you're, if you're asking me if I like this camera, would I buy it again? I have no regrets. I would definitely buy this camera again. It's, it's a, a, part, of our, uh, a part of our kit now, uh, and it's not going anywhere. So we use it for work primarily. I think for my own personal traveling, I'll probably look at something else for travel, but for work, making online content, this is an awesome camera and you can do a lot with it. And I think you'd be really, really happy if you get it. So I hope that helps. If you're thinking about this camera, if you have any questions, you know, leave a comment and uh, I'll do my best to uh, let you know what my experience has been. Um, anyways, thanks a lot and we'll catch you next time.